Hello, Brenton with Law Acting here. In this video, I'm going to open up some Hot Wheels 2021 G Case cars that I was able to find on the pegs. So this video is a little later. G cars, G Case cars have been hitting a bunch of places. I understand that. These were primarily from Dollar General. So I've been hunting down the Dollar General cars. You've already seen me open up the exclusives. I need at least 20 cars, if not more. I'm going to try to hope to get for three exclusive uh, Ford Raptors. So these were coming out of Dollar General. So again, the case is a little older. The G case cars were exclusive. So if you had the, um, if you found one of the exclusive colors, you'll notice it came from the G case and it was G1. Uh, not really sure what the small indication is, but yeah, there we have it. G case cars, I know this is a little late and a lot of these are repeats too. G and H cases have a bunch of carryovers from previous cases from the G to the H and from the um, E to the or F case to the G case. There's a bunch of carryovers. So you might have already seen a bunch of these uh, that have already been opened. I understand. I apologize, but we're going to blast through them so I can open these and, you know, send them away. So we've got a yellow Volvo 850 estate and this is a super bright wagon in regard to the wagons exclusive that came out recently, which is much more pale. And I do have that, so we can kind of compare. I like the five spoke rims, but I really like the bright yellow on this one. They do have tampos for the headlights and they do have tampos for the taillights, but there's just a few less tampos on the mainline version. Obviously like the door handles are done on this one. And then the base is metal on the premium versus plastic on the mainline. Not too bad. Cool casting. Glad to have another Volvo wagon. All right, let's keep moving. Let's go to through some of the less popular ones. We've got a tuned twin mill. This is new for 2021. I do like the maroon on this one. I will say I like the maroon on this car. Kind of has a Red Baron kind of look to it. That old casting from Mattel. That The Red Baron is actually really pretty cool. Next up, we have the Total Disposal from 2022 Earth Day. I'm not quite sure. I don't know why it's 2022. I really don't. I know that it was, I, I know it's April 22nd, obviously, but did they mess up or is that going forward? I know Earth Day was very, not too long ago and I saw them post this, but I don't know the correlation to why they posted it and then have April 2022. So I actually found a second one of these and I kept it in the package. I'm not gonna send that one away because I'm confused and I wanna know. But I, it's, it's a cool casting. Like, that's pretty cool. Anyway, we'll keep moving. All right, let's move to the Batmobile and then we'll keep going to some of the less favorite ones. We got a Batmobile Arkham Knight. Now, there's nothing wrong with the Batmobile. This thing is really pretty cool. Uh, I can't remember, this is, oh, this is Arkham Knight. So now this isn't from the TV show or the, the movie. Uh, actually, the wheels on this thing are pretty hefty. That's really cool. Not bad, not bad. I like it. We've got a Jaguar, 2020 Jaguar F-Type in silver. This is probably the least appealing color. I think I've actually already opened this on camera for you guys, so we'll keep it quick. Nice casting, but the color hasn't done justice yet. We've got another one. We've got D.A. Vansinator. Yep, don't know that one. <laughs> but it's cool casting. Fantasy casting. Need the car or need the card back, so it gets, wow, oh, that's very shiny. Uh, need the car, so it goes into the bunch. And next up, we have the Toyota Off-Road. And again, I think, well, this was, yeah, I definitely think this was a carryover from the F case, for sure. All right, Bentley, I think, was a carryover from the F case. I just like the BRG. I picked up a couple of these because I need multiples so I can send them away. That's cool. That's probably the coolest part. All right, we've got a Triumph. I believe that was a carryover. So many of these are carryovers. I like the red, good stuff. And then the RX-3, this would be a super treasure hunt if you found it. I believe it was FK super treasure hunt. Could be wrong. All right, so now we're getting into some of the more prominent ones. We've got a 2020 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 in yellow. We've already seen it in exclusive in red for GameStop. Now we've got it in yellow. This is not an exclusive color to Dollar General, 
but it is a cool casting. GT500s are awesome. We've got a Land Rover Defender 90 in blue. I really like the blue color. I won't lie. That's pretty awesome. I like the clear windshield. Man, I should pick up a couple of those. Oh, actually, I did. I did pick up a couple of those because I like Land Rovers. I like the clear windshield. Now that I know that, that could become customs. That'd be cool. We've got a Porsche 944. Magnus Walker. Again, I believe we've seen this before. We've got a Toyota 8086 with the Advan. Oh, no, I'm sorry, not Advan. Falcon. I'll do that. It first had, I think it had the teal, and now it has the black and white. We've got the Big Air Bel Air in red. I'm really excited for the Kroger exclusive one. The Kroger exclusive one is going to be blue. The GameStop exclusive was yellow. This casting, I'll, I'll buy every one of them. <laughs> it's just really cool. And then any extras I might take outside and do a photo shoot with. All right, we've got the Pictionary Camaro. I, the uh, Kroger exclusive will be this one as well. It's not this color, but there is a Kroger exclusive. I believe it's like a greenish, tealish color. I, I don't like the Pictionary look. I mean, they haven't done this one justice in a long time. This Camaro is awesome. And they just haven't got it right yet. All right, we've got a Lamborghini Urus in white. I have to do a comparison between the concept and the... I've got it over there. It's buried at the moment. I'll have to do a comparison between the now real Eurus to the concept Eurus that they had a couple years ago. And I wrote a blog about that a while back. A while back. All right, let's go ahead and move to the Camaro. This is a then and now. I don't know if we had the then Camaro yet. I believe this is the now. Can't remember if we had the then Camaro. Hot Wheels is moving right through the, their year. They are scooting. So this is a ZL1, though. So this is a hefty... Hefty Camaro, good to know. All right, let's go to the Acura. We'll go to the Acura NSX in red. Still a car I do not think that has gotten the love it deserves, but I also am on that train. I, I just can't find the appeal to it. I, I think it's too expensive for what it is. But yeah, all right, we've got a custom Ford Bronco. This is definitely the then car. We already have seen the now because that is the new Bronco. It's set to debut here soon. I like the Hot Wheels graphics on the side. This thing is a beast. I like it. All right, we've got some really popular castings left. What should we go with? Let's go with the lowrider, La Toca. I believe that's a Chevy. It doesn't say, but I'm almost positive it is. Art cars. Man, this thing is cool. I can see why everybody wanted it. I was able to find a couple of these as well, so I'm going to be opening multiples of them. I'm not too concerned about resale value. I don't really do that. All right, we've got the, um, the Ragin' Express. I believe I've already opened this one up. I don't know why I saved this one. It's cool, though. I can't remember if I actually have opened this up or not. But I believe it's, yeah, Dectora, I believe is what they're called. Really cool. Maybe I haven't opened this. I really don't remember. I apologize. I've got a lot of cars and I made a lot of videos. This is really cool though. All right, let's go with the finals. We've got a Nissan R3. 390 GT1. So R390. And I know there's a huge significance behind this car, but I just can't remember it off the top of my head. I know it's kind of like the Mercedes and Porsche. I think that's kind of like that GT1 or um, the GT1 series yeah, where they had to have a specific amount of road cars to go racing. I think that's the the basis behind this. I could be wrong, but this is a really cool casting. I'm excited to see if they do anything premium with this. That'll be fun because that will start to get into some of like, again, the racing series. And it'd be nice if they've got the Mercedes and the Porsche and the Mercedes, Porsche, Nissan, Mazda, 
and maybe the Volkswagen IDR. That would be a cool five car lineup in the premiums. Let me know if what you think. We've got the Dodge Van uh, in yellow. I think this is the recolor of this one. We've already seen it in green. Now we've got it in yellow. It's a Moon Eyes, Rio Asada, RIP. That's So there's that one. And then we've got the Celica. So we got the Celica, 70 Celica, which is a cool paint. This is kind of like the Prelude. Oops. Uh, let me see if I've got it. Very similar to the Prelude. Paint. Yeah, very similar to the Prelude paint. As the Celica, that's pretty cool. No side front tampos. But it's got multiple plat uh, multiple layers because it's got the windshield. It's got, I think the interior is different. Yeah, so it's three different layers. Windshield, the body, the seats, and then the base. It's pretty cool. Last two are the 71 Datsun 510 wagon. This, I think, would be the super treasure hunt. I was probably about 30 to 40 minutes late on getting one of these. I had a doctor's appointment one morning. I had to get back home to work and... I saw that somebody had stopped at the Walmart that I would have stopped at had I had time before coming home to work. Doctor's appointment went late. I wasn't able to get the Datsun 510 Super. Somebody else did. They actually got two of them. So I would have walked away with two. But I didn't. It's okay. This thing's a really cool casting. And it's nice to see it. I actually like the rims. That's awesome. I believe this is a really cool paint job. I can't remember if this is based off a real car or not. And then last up is the Moon Shaker. The Moon Shaker. That's cool. The Moon Eyes Bone Shaker. That's pretty legit. I like how they have the grip on the wheels, but they put, uh, they didn't put grip wheels on this one. They constantly leave them smooth. Oh my goodness. So there we go. There are the G case cars. Again, I know a lot of these are holdover from F case, and I know a lot of these go into the um, H case. So I've, I'll open the H case up here soon. That's a video coming up, but I wanted to get these out on, and then I wanted to be able to make the car backs go for the Dollar General cars. So that way I can get the Raptor. But yeah, here we go. There's the, the, the Prelude, even though this is the uh, exit to the video. You can see a prelude in the exit. Let me know what you guys think of the GK's cars, and until the next one, have a good one.